Some people have said that if at first you don't succeed, then skydiving is probably not the sport for you. Hello, it's Markham Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be just discussing the process I went about creating the short film Skydiver. So there at the start, you saw me recording the audio. At the moment now, I'm in Blender, and I've just created a plane. And what I've done is I've subdivided the heck out of that one and then used the proportional editing tool and just kind of made the mounds. From here, I am using the scatter add-on and you can see just simply how quick it is to create grass and it's stunning grass as well. And now we need to sort out the lighting. So here I'm going to be using the add-on physical starlight and atmosphere. It is an amazing add-on and it just kind of complemented the grass and just created um, this amazing atmosphere. The lighting on it is brilliant. Here I got to import the character. So I'm using Real Illusions Character Creator 3. Very simple to create a character. I've exported it, imported it into Blender, and now it's all about posing. Now I'm just posing the model in pretty much one animation, one pose, and then just letting the character fall to its death. And as you can see, it's a very simple pose, kind of like you, what you would expect to be falling from the sky. Um, and now I've just moved it behind the hill. Originally, I was going to try and get some ragdoll effects on it. And here I was actually having problems because I kept on forgetting to save the keyframe like an idiot. So I had to do it, I think, two or three times. And here I'm just lining up the camera. Now, what I ended up doing with the camera is on the X axis, I set it at zero. And then I made it on the Y. And then it was kind of moving and zooming in just like that. Here is me using the simple cloth add-on. Um, very simply just creating a parachute here. Um, pinning is what those lines are. So the red is what is um, kind of like holding it together. And then the blue is more where the cloth is expanding. And so I had to do a little bit of funky things about um, disabling the force over time. And that's why initially kind of like the parachute was kind of spinning itself around and just stuffing up. But I mean, there's small problems and it's just all about learning the tool. Here I was using the PBR combo material just to um, put some materials on the parachute. Right now I am using, right now I'm creating a collision for a surface for the parachute to land on. Because if I don't do that, then what happens is the grass will be coming through the parachute and that's no good. Now I did stuff up with the animation and the parachute ju does just appear unfortunately, but that's one of the little things. So with all these add-ons, there's a link in the description for all of them. Please go check them out um, if you can. And if you want to see more of these videos, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out and keeps up to date my content. Um, and if you want me to make more videos like this, yeah, let me know in the comments below.